In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable field history tracking in Salesforce so you can see what fields were updated, when they were updated, and which values were changed. My name is Stacy, and I'm from Chargent. If you are a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, then you are in the right place. In Salesforce, there are often times where field values get changed and you're left wondering what the previous value was, when it was changed, or who changed it. Field history tracking gives you a list of this data, a log, if you will, of what changed. Salesforce allows you to track up to 20 fields for both standard or custom objects. By enabling field history tracking, you will be able to see who made the change, the date it was updated, and the previous value of the field. This feature is helpful as it provides you with a useful audit trail for reviewing or troubleshooting past changes. Changes to tracked fields are displayed in the object's history related list, and the data is retained for 18 months. Chargent recommends that you enable history tracking on key fields for both the charge and order and transaction records. For Chargent, fields like the charge amount, an expiration date on a credit card, or a token can be very useful to see before and after values and when they changed. And by the way, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So check that link in the description below. Some updates to fields can impact your billing and cause transactions to fail. With field history tracking enabled, you will be able to review when a field was updated and its before and after values should there be questions in the future. And with an increasing number of automation tools such as Process Builder, field history tracking can help troubleshoot configuration changes and give better visibility into automated processes that may be updating record values in Salesforce. To enable field history tracking, here are the steps. First, click the gear icon and choose Setup. Under Objects and Fields, choose the Object Manager. Select Charge and Order or Transactions, depending on which one you're doing first. Select Fields and Relationships. Click the Set History Tracking button, choose which fields you want to track, and then be sure to click the Save button. Chargent recommends several key fields to track on the charge and order that can be helpful when troubleshooting problems with recurring billing. All billing fields, including address and email address, credit card fields, including credit card and expiration date, all charge fields, including the charge amount, total, and manual charge checkbox. It's not recommended to modify fields on the transaction record. However, we do recommend tracking the following fields for auditing purposes. Amount, recurring status checkbox, response status, and type. With field history tracking enabled, you will find it much easier to understand the timeline of a record, see previous data, and troubleshoot some simple errors when a record has been updated. And now, check out this next video. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce customers like you keep your payments simple. And remember, we're always here to help.